Hello everybody, a very good afternoon, good evening, good morning, depending on where you are in the world. My name is Ben Mosby, thank you for joining us for the final show of today, Monday Makers. Uh, what a day it has been as well, it's been such a busy day, we've just about been functioning. I mean, it's been hot here. I mean, it's been hot everywhere, let's be honest. But it's been hot, hot, hot here. Uh, we sort of were just falling apart a little bit at the end of launch day, uh, but we've managed to recompose ourselves. Uh, we've, had, we've had ice creams. Um, I, I, I went out and bought ice creams for everyone. I don't do that very often. It's like, uh, you know, I, I don't like, uh, you know, dipping my hand into my wallet. Like, if you ever go out with me, we go to the pub. Not very often do you see the wallet come out. So it's a, it's a, it's a, once, a once a year thing. But uh, we've had ice creams, and we are just about ready to go. And I've also apologised for this. I, I needn't show you, but I think I'd like to share everything with you. Um, I, I've, I've had a costume change. Whee! Whoa! Look at those. Uh, yeah, so the shorts are on for the final show. I have got airy legs, Johnny. <laughs> I've got really airy legs. But that's about... Anyway, we don't need to talk about that. Um, right, so we are here for... <laughs> no, no, Johnny. Johnny just said you can wax them for charity. No. Uh, no, moving on. We are here with Moneymakers, and over the course of the show, if you missed our launch a little bit earlier on, we're going to remind you of that. We've also got some amazing deals on our lattice folding dies. We've got the Gemini Swing Card Die Collection, which we had a little bit of a sneaky peek off on uh, Wake Up Call earlier on. Swing! Uh, the Border Stamp and Die Collection is coming your way too. Plus, we've got a Monday Mega Deal and we are going to be crowning another one of our craft ambassadors over the course of this show as well, which we're really looking forward to. And with all of that, we do still have here with us the absolutely wonderful, the marvellous, uh, the one and only... New nanny to be once again for the second time herself, <laughs> the lovely Jan Brown. In case you wow. didn't hear the... Uh, no, what an earlier. introduction, my goodness, that takes some living up to. <laughs> Thank you very much. You're welcome. Oh, honestly, yeah, we're all sort of watered and fed, and yeah, yeah. it was a very nice ice cream, Ben. Thank you very You're much. You're welcome. It just hit the spot nicely. Yes. So, yeah, we've got lots to show you tonight on here, so I'm just going to show you one or two samples again, just to give you some inspiration. So we've got the lovely stamp and border dies, and if you were watching first thing this morning, I did demo these, and I did promise that I would do one where I showed you how to add the sentiment in there, which is how that comes concepts design but that's the foliage one there really really nice with the green and then mixing and matching it with papers and you know the other sentiments that you've got in your stash and then also we've got that lovely uh, butterfly like Ben said no collections complete without the no. butterflies so again just cutting it either vertically it can be horizontally however you want to add it to your edge of your card there literally just popping that one in as an extra and then we've doubled it I just like that black and white just really nice complement for each other we've also got the lattice folding dies now it's the first time I've had a chance to play with these and my oh. goodness I do like these a lot yes Fun. we've got a our first demo coming up with these so we've got this one's the star one and if you've not seen these in action before again so so simple to do but really really nice results on them and then this one's a real pleaser so from the front you think yeah it's a really pretty card there Jan but when we open and look at that wow factor inside with Whoa. the back. How clever is that one? And that's mm. done. You can just see if I tip it, it's got that sort of pop-out section in the centre with the lattice dies in. So again, just another way of using them. And then we've got those lovely swing fold dies in as well. So again, on here, we've just used it this time as a topper. So there's no, you know, well, I'll show you the swing element in it, but I love the fact that, again, you know, you can just take that element and just use it as a topper on there. But this was the one that we made this morning, all right, using those circle swing dies and the idea with these let me just free that one is that they actually flip from one side to the other Very clever. so we did a double swing on that one I'm going to take it back to basics and show you how to start off with the single swing uh, but they do fold you know this one will fold up to fold flats like so so you can pop it in an envelope there yes all right so that's the main three items but then we did promise to bring back these have done so well throughout the day this is one of the ones that we made earlier on this morning with the new winter floral collection that has just literally flown out of the door it today has. we can't keep up with it and we did the little shaped card with that i have got one demo left which we're going to sneak into this show and then just showing you them i like this idea where it was split oh i onto love the card that. again another way of doing it you know rather than having Very that word clever. all in one length if you want to make a different style card yeah why not split it into the two parts i think that's a really novel idea and then those gorgeous decoupage pieces to go with it so we're going to bring that back and, and sneak a demo in with those as well during the next couple of hours ben plenty to cram in 
as always, we're live and interactive. Superstar Susie on the socials. Uh, Sarah Brown, and you've been with us all day. Uh, so has, bless her. Do you ever do you ever sleep? Um, I, it's lovely to have your company. You were on my little Facebook Live earlier on as well. Hello again from Melbourne, Australia. Yes, I'm back for more fun with all my crafty friends uh, from Frasher TV and beyond. Suzette Suze is in from Prince Edward Island. Hoping everyone is well. Uh, Kimberly J. Millwood says, good afternoon from North Carolina. I'm celebrating my birthday today. Well, oh, happy birthday. Many happies. Yeah. yeah. Great day. Uh, George Jan Curley says, hi, Ben and Jan from Clearwater, Florida. Also to the Crafters TV family and crafty friends, I'm celebrating my birthday today. Oh, my goodness. It's a busy one today, it is isn't, busy it? One, isn't it? Uh, enjoying all the beautiful projects. Julie joins us from California. Hey, Beth, uh, Mary Beth Doyle is in from Minnesota. Laurie's in from uh, Gilbert, Gilbert, Arizona. Uh, Susan Ware says, hello everyone from Vegas. Mary Cake Knowles with us from Wisconsin. There's loads of you in Panda Crafts. Fred171, hello. Hi to Eileen in Puerto Rico. Um, LQM is in from California. Janet Boyd is in uh, from uh, sunny Michigan. Mary Pat's in from Montana. Miriam's in from a hot South Carolina. Uh, Sarabi's mum from Texas. Laughing Gravy from Aylesbury. My old neck of the woods. Uh, and Barbara Rosko uh, Rostovsky says, good afternoon from Portage. Indiana. Uh, lovely ha to have you all here with us. If you've got any questions, any comments you want to throw away over the course of the show, uh, please do, because we always love to hear from you. Uh, and hopefully you're surviving the heat today, because um, wherever you are, no doubt it is hot, hot, hot. Um, best ever price on these. We launched these, uh, or I say we, I launched these with the uh, lovely Debbie Fisher. Um, oh, when was this? Probably a couple of months ago now, I think. Mm. Um, and, and once again, what this provides you with is the ability to create this sort of uh, lattice folding effect without any faff or you know with without um, too much worry at all and once again if you are new to crafting you're going to be able to achieve this effect really really quick um, and easily um, you're getting lots of different designs within the set this one here is the start and what you get is two different dies in each set so again if you want to just create your borders you can if you want to uh, create panels you can do um, if you want to create frames with these again you've got the ability to do that and it's such again a great design in the fact that uh, the die is going to um, give you the cut there and then simply you're just going to be folding back um, the die cuts as it were to create that really cool uh, lattice effect it's so easily done uh, best ever price on these as well uh, two for 15 pounds two for 19 dollars but you can get the full collection um, on the best ever price the double diamond again i just think is brilliant what i love about this again and we were talking a lot about this earlier on when you're giving cards to perhaps people who aren't um, within our little crafty world they are going to have no idea and they're going to be so super impressed, aren't they, when they As see to them, how, how that's did you do been that? done? Yeah, how did yeah, you it's that? honestly dead simple again. Yeah. The die does all the work. It's just a little bit of folding and burnishing. And yeah, you've got a wow factor again, haven't you? You really have. And again, what I love about this is you've got a whole host of uh, different designs in here from the chevron. Remember, it's two dies per set. This one here, I absolutely love the uh, the circle. Uh, <laughs> um, Debbie was um, saying that this would be perfect for uh, you know making cards for engagements, maybe or anniversary. Yeah. Uh, my initial idea when I saw this was making uh, nautical themed cards. I can see a life raft. Yes, yeah. thank you. Yeah. Debbie yeah, laughed at me when I suggested no, that. No, I can see yes. that in there. A little bit of red and white yes, on it. Yes, exactly. Yeah, I can see the little life. Are they, what are they, life belts? Life, like life rings. Bowies, buoys. Boys. 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 Yeah. Everybody. And everybody pronounces it differently. Yeah. yeah. That's Boys. what I can see in there. Yeah. Oh, great minds think alike, Jan. See? Great <laughs> uh, you've then got that gorgeous opulence. And again, you're seeing lots of different d designs, I think, for uh, lots of different cars and projects. One of my favourites is the last one, um, which is that double loop. Yeah. Again, really, really clever. And it looks so difficult to achieve. But what you'll see with Jan in just a few moments' time, that this is so, so super achievable for everybody. That one looks like a little racetrack, doesn't it? It, it does look like a little racetrack. Yeah, you could just have like a little boy's birthday card with a little car on it. Yeah, love that idea. Six today. Yeah. yeah, yeah, oh yeah. All the ideas, uh, you're saving almost £12 today, nearly $15. That platinum price is the best price. Well, it, the, pr the whole price today is the best price we've done it for. Platinum price, 28 76 or 35 82 Two for £15 or two for $19. Uh, of course, less your club-inspired discount as well. But let's um, have a look at these because they say the, uh, the proof is in the pudding, of course. Are these as easy to use as we're saying? Absolutely. Yep. You know, and there's nothing difficult. We don't bring anything difficult, to be no. honest. You get that lovely wow factor when they're finished. 
but breaking it down into the steps and that's what we're here for it just makes it so so simple all that planning and thought has gone into the design and the production of it you just get to do the play so we're going to have a look at the circle one and you get two pieces so you know depending on the size of your project mm. you've got two different sizes i've seen samples done where one's done this way and the shorter one's returned across the card lots of different ways we're actually going to use the longer one okay. on what i've got planned uh tonight so we're going to take this one and you've got a series of die cut pieces but the little returns here across the bottom of the shape are just score lines again so each time where you get that bottom section of the shape it's just going to put a score line in which then allows you to fold the next one back and the next one back so what i'm going to do is i'm going to cut this into I'm, I'm on my glitter card at the minute i just love it so this, we're actually going to cut it into a piece of glitter card so i'm literally just going to line this up so to, towards the edge i'm just going to use my piece of paper as that yeah we've got plenty of space there and then again i'm going to tape it down because i don't want that to move while it's passing through our gemini so again yeah. we're just going to pop piece at the bottom I'm just looking that we're about the same distance here and here and again you know if you're not sure we can line it up with the grid there looks about right and then just because we're cutting into that um, glitter card again I'm just going to bring in that metal shim just to cut against which will just give it that extra bite it should be fine just as an outline die but just as a little bit of an insurance we're going to pop it in there with the rest of the shims as normal and pass that through our Gemini now these are all the size of the dies are all compatible with either the midi or the junior yeah uh, again, it just goes on the size of the project that you're working on. So if you've got a slightly larger project, you might want the larger plates entirely up to you. So just pass that through. And that's done a great job. So you can see oh, yeah. on the back there, I've just got the little arches. There's no cut across the bottom there. All right, it's just put me a little score line in there. So when we take this away now, just take the tape off gently okay and then what you'll see is it's literally just cut those arches into my piece of card yeah so all i'm going to do now is take the first one just break the seal against the glitter card and then literally fold it right back to where the score line is and give it a little burnish with your bone folder okay now we're going to do that with all of them just to get started so again with the glitter card sometimes you just have to snap where that little seal is and again just burnish that fold line in so that it knows what it wants you to do and i'm just going to lift them all up ready and then i can do all the burnishing at the same time so again folding them back burnish uh -huh. same again so again very repetitive it's like training that memory where you want it to go yeah okay and then simply this is the clever bit now we've got this as a, a design so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to lift the piece that was left in the card here and i'm going to tuck this bit in behind it here uh, okay okay so let me just bring you a piece of white card there so you can see okay so all i've done is i've taken that loop from above here and I'm just going to slot it behind the semicircle that's left. And then I'm going to do the same again. I'm going to lift that piece, slot that one behind. So you don't even need to think about adding a bit of adhesive then to that? You sort? can if you wish. Mm. You can if you wish. Uh, if, you know, it depends what you're cutting and how thick it is. Uh, but I actually quite like the fact that they just literally if you do the burnishing they'll actually sit where you want them to go yeah now it's up to you whether you continue with this one i actually want it to finish there so i'm just going to snip that bottom one away so that we're just working with a half circle at the bottom it depends where you want it to go and how you want your pattern to look but i'm just going to take that one out of the bottom there yeah just tidy up those little cut lines a little bit where i've taken it out with my snips and that's just going to be sort of that half circle to finish the pattern off at the bottom. So you can see there, if I pop this on here now, 
now you've got that lovely finish now it doesn't show up too well on the white and my card base is white so what I thought we'd do is we'd sort of bring in some extra colors so what I've got then is this is that lovely double-sided centura pearl so you've got the pearl on the inside and the outside really really nice and I've just done five by seven card and I've put that extra score line down the middle at two and a half inches and folded it back so this piece is actually going to stick in here so that we can see that lovely panel of circles down the side but like I said on the white it doesn't really show too well so I've been playing with that lovely frosty and bright collection again here I just love someone's it someone's got a favorite new collection the pink and the turquoise together to me are just a match made in heaven so yeah. by sliding this underneath here you can see now that we've got a little bit of contrast and like it, it shows up because I've introduced another colour. So we've got the pink behind, we've got the turquoise from the glitter card and then you've got the white from the fold back design which is the reverse of the glitter card. Now if you imagine doing this with something that's double sided, you're going to get a different colour here yeah. or you're going to get for example like the cardstock I've got has got a very patterned side and then it's got a more sort of less patterned side. I don't want to say plain because it's not plain. Now I'm going to use that so that it doesn't interfere too much with that design and I'm just going to stick that underneath before we put this panel in. So let's get those together, use the tape pen just to pop these in and then I've made um, a panel to go on the front as well just incorporating a sentiment to finish it off but you know that was really straightforward yeah. you know, there was nothing difficult about it the double ones work the same it's just that you've got two lines of it instead of one so you're going to do the same on the second so the double diamond the double loop that kind of thing works exactly the same and it depends whether you want to actually pop a, um, a little glue dot behind it maybe to secure them if, if it doesn't lay flat the secret is that burnishing on those fold lines because that's teaching your cardstock there that you want it to lay flat and I think mine's okay I don't think it actually needs anything underneath it but if you find it just doesn't stay flat pop a little glue dot or something under here and stick that piece down and then the next one stick it down and it will do the trick for you so this one's now going to go over the top so that we've got that pink showing through so again I'm going to go with that tape runner around the edge of this one and just add that onto the back of the card there a pesky bit of that's it get away didn't want that bit in there so this bit's just going to stick over the top so that that pink is showing through that's going to leave my border all the way around the card there Okay, and then I'm going to repeat that blue again on the front. Okay. So that lines up nicely with the inside. So again, just using that tape runner, just flicking to break that adhesion on the tape. And this one's going to go on the front. And then just to break up all that turquoise, we're going to bring that pink back on the front again now what I've done is I've actually prepared this I've got a um, piece of the pink paper and then I've, st I've actually stamped out just a, a generic sentiment from my stash with this one and then what I've done is I popped a couple of eyelets in it and just fed my twine around it just to create like a feature this piece is going to go on here like this uh -huh. just a little top tip for this I don't know whether you can see uh, let me put it on the back of the card whether you can see it here or not just at the bottom and the top here I've used my hole punch to just take a little tiny tiny it's like half of the hole punch out of the top edge and the bottom edge and it allows your twine then to wrap round and stay perfectly where you want it to go so a little tip there for you and then I've popped some tape ready on the back of this I've just used some finger lift tape uh, on the back of this one ready and we're going to stick that one on top of here so let's just get everything the right way up again because it's going on to that glitter card I just like a little bit of wet glue so that it soaks in yes. so just very very lightly along those edges I'm just going to add a little bit of the um, the wet glue in fact we may as well take I've secured the twine with that red line tape we may as well use that as extra sticky as well yeah good idea and then this one's just going to sit on the front here perfect and that sort of breaks up all that turquoise because it was a little bit much altogether. So that one's going to go on there. 
and then I've just brought some little gems which I thought would just sit nicely so one two three four five I think yeah might want one there as well so one just on the top of the semicircles one two three four five six so that's going to bring in that pink again and tie it together so these are just some that I've had in my stash there I popped a little one on the sentiment just to link it all together but yeah. those and as I say if you find that it just needs a little glue dot behind there or a little dab of glue just to hold it down you can apply that on as well but those just down that center it sort of just adds that little bit of pink again to tie it all in Lillian says it looks like Gucci it does actually doesn't it yeah I know what you mean there what is that the the designer stuff oh i wouldn't yeah. know I you wouldn't know not really a gucci kind of a guy there we go more like pre-marche so again when we turn that one round you can just see there just add something a little bit different you know you've got that people want to touch it to see how it's done yeah um yeah just just makes that add a difference you know this could easily have been on this front panel if you'd have wanted again it raises the question about where are you going to write your uh, your greeting in there so again that matte and layered yeah. panel on the back of your card you can stamp a sentiment write your message inside it i don't mind doing that with cards so that you can actually decorate i like to decorate the uh, the insides of them so that was the circle Okay. Yes, yeah. absolutely brilliant. And you know what? It's nice when you receive comments of the like uh, from Ab Penny. He says, "Good afternoon from Minnesota. These lattice dies are so innovative. I tried lattice dies. Uh, sorry, I tried lattice years ago, and it was a disaster. So again, if that was you, somebody tried to do it manually and you found it difficult, this die set makes it an absolute dream. Um, hi to Beverly, who says she's watching from Tennessee. Great show uh, for Holidays Designs. is in from sunny Florida. Uh, Heather McFarquhar says, hi, Jan and Ben from uh, Hull, East Yorkshire. Um, it's Hull near you, is it? It's not that close to me, but my caravan, we go through Hull uh, to yes. get to the caravan up on the East Coast, yeah. Got relatives live up that way as well, so... Yeah. You've, you've been to Hull and back. Been to Hull and back. <laughs> uh, uh, Rachel says, love the dye, so easy to use. And Lucinda says, I love the, these comments, I always enjoy reading them. This is sweet corn growing weather here in Iowa. Uh, it's 90 to 90F to 96 every day this week. Last time I was in London, everyone was trying to get iced drinks. Early 2000s, UK in a July hottest high ever. Uh, well, I never knew that this was perfect sweet corn growing weather. If that's the case, we should be growing some sweet corn here as well today. Maybe, we? maybe, you know, yes. Um, it, it's set to be the hottest, uh, hottest ever day here in the UK today, and then we're going to beat it again tomorrow, apparently. Uh, Shadai says, received these lattice dyes three days ago. Thank you for the demo. Uh, and hi to Linda. Bethan's adoring the Frosty and Bright collection as well. We've got some of that on the show. Pamela says, wowzers, top tip, game changers. Thank you, Jan. I've always avoided twine because of the way it laid. Well, now you don't need to anymore. Yeah. Um, Sarabi's mum also saying she loved that partial punch technique. Very nice card, Jan, says Miriam. Cathy C says, beautiful card. And Adriana says, such a great card. Shall we have a look at the full collection very quickly? Uh, everything that you're going to get here proving really, really popular. Uh, if you've waited on this one, uh, today's a great day to pick it up because you're getting the, the best ever price with a 25% discount. If you don't want to go for the full collection today, maybe you are just uh, you know, still thinking about dipping your uh, toe in the water two for £15 or two for $19 less wherever you are within Club Inspire. Uh, Heather just saying, very beautiful card, Jan. Barbara, lovely card, Jan. Rachel says, so pretty. Uh, again, look at all of these different designs that you're getting. That's your Chevron. And of course, you get the uh, two different dies in there. So whether you are creating borders, you know, creating full backgrounds potentially, or indeed um, frames, hopefully you've seen with the circles there, which Jan just used a few moments ago, that again, it's a really, really achievable craft. Um, now you've got these dies. That one there is your opulent. And lastly, really gorgeous, is that double loop. Uh, available individually on that two foot, or indeed, if you want to go for the, pla uh, the uh, full collection today, platinum price is £28.76 or $35.82. Uh, hi to Jane, who says hello from uh, Sylvania, Ohio. Sylvania? Sylvania? I'm oh, not transferring. No, I was thinking, what were those little creatures called? Yeah, Sylvania families. Sylvanian families, yeah. Is that where they were from? I don't know. Um, Sylvania. Sylvania. Uh, oh, maybe. I didn't realise. Yeah, let us know. Uh, and Superstar Susie says, uh, 
Oh, sorry, Susie. So Susie sends the comments through. She sent through a minute ago uh, three little emoji faces, and it, I, I didn't know what it was. Like the eyes were like they were like big eyes, like that. And I've just twigged now what it was. There were sad faces. I didn't twig. So she says, you didn't ask me why I was sad. I didn't realise there were sad faces. Oh. You said, I didn't get an ice cream. That's why she's sad. Oh. I mean, I'd, with, there's three left, to be honest with you. So if you want, Susie, I can post you one. But um, it might not be in such good shape by the time it gets there. <laughs> um, shall we say hello to our craft ambassador? Um, oh, on yes. Monday Makers, we always love to uh, meet you guys. And it's a, a, I always say, if you're ever thinking about coming to join us on a show, maybe you, you want to do a craft along, for example, but you're a little bit too scared to do it, thinking, oh, I don't want the pressure of doing it. Monday Makers is a great show to start because you can come and join us as a craft ambassador. We have a little, a little bit of a chin wag. Uh, you show us a few of your makes, and then you walk away with a little voucher. So it's a nice kind of like, in to joining uh, the team here at Crafters TV. And today... Uh, we're staying here in the UK. We're actually going to West Yorkshire. Uh, we're going to Castleford, and we're going to say a very good mm -hmm. evening to Diane. How are you? Hi, I'm fine. Um, how's the weather been in uh, in Cast today? Has it been warm? Red hot. Red hot. <laughs> red hot. <laughs> how how hot's red hot there? Have you have you seen any temperature gauges? Uh, I think about thirty five. <sighs> Crazy, isn't it's, it? Uh, it's it's uncomfortable, isn't it? But uh, you, if you manage to keep cool. Yeah, I've been in craft room all day. Oh, have you? Have you got fans in there? Right? Aircon or what? No. Oh. Just a window. Just a window. <laughs> Just a window. <laughs> bless you. <laughs> is it the is it the first time you've joined us on um, Crafters TV? No, I have done uh, Monday Makers before. Yeah, and um, how long have you been crafting for, Dan? Um, I think about three and a half years. Okay. What what got you into crafting? Was it was it us here at Crafters Companion? Definitely. Yeah. Yeah. Did you, yeah. um, how, how did you find us then? Was it, was it Crafters TV or were you shopping at one of our stores? How, how did the sort of crafty journey start for you? I, th I think it was creating craft, I probably saw you on. Right. First, and then um, you started Crafters TV and that, that was it, I were hooked. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, it happens quite a lot, like, doesn't it? Do you get a lot of time to watch us? Do you watch us most days? Mm -hmm. Yeah, most days, yeah. yeah. And um, what, what's your favourite kind of uh, craft to do? What's your what's your go-to craft? Um, I like it all, to be honest. Um, today I've done um, one of these today. Wait a minute, where's the camera? Oh. Over here. Oh, I'm right. I'm right. right. You're, you're right. That's, there we that's go. That's it, yep. Gorgeous. That's, look at that. Yep. Yeah. I love that. So, I, yeah. It, it doesn't fall flat though, like uh, it's supposed to do, because I've done measuring wrong. Right. Well, yeah. wrong. Just make a box. Yeah, you can make in. a box, can't you? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It'll fit in a box. So I, I like, I like all crafting, all of it. I'm not so good at uh, colouring in, but um, I do try. Do you? Are you, are you into your soft craft as well? So I'm just looking over your right shoulder there, and you've, oh, got, you've got some fabric. Yeah. I'm a, I'm a dressmaker by art, but. Um, since I started with the paper craft and crafters TV, this is taking first place now. Oh wow! So when you say you're a dressmaker by art, is that something that you've done uh, professionally, or do you do professionally for work? No, I, I taught myself when I was uh, 14, and I've been doing it ever since, making dresses for all my girls and friends, family. Oh, so, that again is an amazing school to have because it must be so nice to just go, oh, you know, I'm going to make myself a top or a dress and then you've got one for, a, you know, like a special occasion potentially. Have you ever made for anyone else? Have you ever made, ever made any to sell? Uh, no, not really, not to sell. Um, it's hard to get your prices right when you're selling, mm. so uh, yeah. I usually do it free. Just done two prom dresses. Oh, right. right. Lovely, mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. But that's out of way now, so I can concentrate on my cards. <laughs> and I suppose as well with the paper crafting, it's um, you, you get that crafty fix a little bit quicker, I suppose, than making dresses, wouldn't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. you do. Have you got a? Um, have you been watching a lot over the last few weeks? Have you got a favourite collection that we've launched recently, or what have you bought to uh, off us recently? I like what Jan's been doing. Just the start uh, showing at the start of the show those um, lattice folding dies. Not the lattice ones. The winter floral ones. 
Uh, the spinny ones. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah, the yeah, swing cards. Swing. I'm going to do those That's, next. Yes, because I've got my eyes on them, I think. Uh, I really like them. Yeah. So I think oh, I want to get them. Do you, um, do, do you make your cards as well for, for family, or do you, do you sell those, or do you just do that completely out of just love of doing it? I would like to sell them, but it's, it's, it's just difficult. Um, I w my dream would be to be on the design team, but I'm not that good, really. So, uh, but I would love it, yeah, yeah. You just never know that. if you don't try. <laughs> Who does she honestly? email, Jan? If she, if yep. she, can she email somebody? Uh, design team, it, possibly Lily now, isn't it? Okay. Yeah. Oh, Lily, yeah, I like Lily. Yeah. She's, she's good, is Lily, yeah. Yeah, yeah. she's looking no, after the design know, team at the minute, good. so, yeah. Yeah. If you don't yeah. try, you never I know. Know. I know. I thought that about my job, Diane, honestly. I thought, not in a million years, and look where I am today. <laughs> You're amazing, Jan. You're an absolutely fantastic teacher. Thank you, my lovely. I didn't yeah, pay you, you to are. say that. <laughs> <laughs> Even yeah, the Anne started on the design she team did, as well. Yeah, yeah. I mm. skipped the design team. I was in the store, so I was sort of working for the company. Uh, mm. And I got asked why I wasn't on the design team, but uh, didn't have time to fit it all in. Mm. And it's amazing, isn't I've it? I've got Jenny? plenty of time on my hands. Yes. Um, Get applied, I, 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 My husband's got uh, MS, so I look after him, so I'm at home all the time. So yeah. um, crafting is my little... Yeah. Uh, Get away an application upstairs. in, honestly, you just never know. You never know. If you don't try, you certainly won't mm -hmm. hear anything. Yeah. Well, um, Maybe. producer Johnny's just said in my ear that he's going to send your email address so, over to Lily. So there you go. And then <laughs> you two can have a bit of a bit of a chat. And yep. um, yeah, that, I think that's the way to go. Because like you say, mm -hmm. you, you just never know. And for a lot of you guys as well, who would have ever thought, like our Debbie as well, Debbie Robinson. Never I know, would have thought honestly, of our names were put forward for this role. Um, mm -hmm. We were both working in the store together. Uh, Debbie was assistant manager. I was the supervisor. And we... <laughs> Debbie went for a look that at was at the beginning when we got the jobs in the store. Debbie didn't even realise it was an, actually a recruitment day. She thought she was just going along for the laugh, yeah. you know, but that's just Deb's all over, isn't it? But yeah, yeah for this was, side yeah. of the job, our names were recommended and it was like my husband said to me, he says, look, what have you got to lose? Go and have a try, see what it's like. And here, as I am, nearly, what, three, I'm in my fourth year now here on this side of it. So yeah, you just never know. Please you don't think know. you're not good enough. <laughs> And I'll tell you what, um, Superstar Susie's just messaged saying, um, I've got an email address which I'll uh, forward on to Johnny. says, you can email the, our social media team uh, and that will go straight to Taylor and Lily and then they'll be able to chat to you. So Brilliant. there you go. Oh, yeah. Lovely. Yeah. yeah. Just before we go, I know you showed us one card. Have you got any other th any other cards you wanted to show us before I, we I have. This is, yeah, I have. This, these are what? Let, right, let me see. Yeah. Johnny says this is your audition now. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Look at these. Oh. She says she's not good enough. Doing herself That's down here. That is beautiful. They, I did those yesterday. Yep. There's a, another one. You can't really see this very well. Let me see if you can. Um, wait a minute. Uh, way. That way. Do you know, we still get this bit wrong. <laughs> you, you go the opposite way to what oh, you think and just still get it wrong today. It's got a message on it, hasn't it? It has. It's got the die cuts, yeah, the sentiment yeah, in it, isn't it's it? it's the congratulate, you know, the ones, the small yeah, the ones big the square. Yeah, the square yeah. sentiments, yeah. yeah you just make it out inside it. Yeah, yeah, I've, I've not quite got the colours right for um, the background. And that's a little one that I did, wait a minute, that, yep. uh, that way. way. <laughs> <laughs> yep, with a little stamp scene Cute. behind it, beautiful. Yeah, yeah. yeah so, yeah, and finally... Oh no, just show you this one. Right. Oh, that, wow. oh, I don't know if you can see that, can you? Yeah, yeah, that's fine, yeah. Yes, yeah. it's anniversary on that one. Yeah, it's an anniversary for my Fantastic. friends Anne and Jack. So I've put, done the initials as well. Yeah. Beautiful. So, well, yeah. That was, I mean, phenomenal. Not that it's my decision, but I reckon, you know, I think you're doing yourself down there, to be honest, Dan. I reckon you're brilliant at what you do. So you should definitely email our guys and we'll get Johnny to, uh, to give you those details. Oh, that'd be nice. You never know, like you say. Well, if you don't send, uh, send in an email, then uh, you, 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 ne you never will. Um, just before you go, I'm always on the lookout for um, new craft ambassadors and for craft along guests. Would you, uh, would you recommend coming on to anyone who's sat watching thinking, oh, I'd quite like a, a go at being yeah. on Crafters TV? Definitely, it's fun. It's great. Yeah. 
Oh, wrapped up very nicely for us. And the great thing is, by just coming on and joining us, uh, you get a little voucher sent out to you as well. So um, I know uh, producer Johnny and George will say goodbye, and we'll get that um, email address to you as well. Uh, and anyone who wants to uh, join us, of course, it's Crafters TV guest at crafterscompanion.co.uk. Uh, bottom of the screen, those details will flash up. Diane, thank you so, so much for joining us, and um, hopefully see you again on Crafters TV. Thank you for having me. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Well, I tell you what, those cards were fantastic. They were they? lovely, weren't they? Yeah. I think we all put ourselves down a little yeah. bit, though, don't we? I think it's just in the nature yeah. of a crafter to just think that we can do more. I still think that after all this time. I've been crafting, like, what, nearly 20 years now. And I still think, you know, there's occasions where, you know, you can do better than that, Jan. But uh, I like to challenge myself, you know that. Absolutely. So. Yeah. Shall that. we have a look at the swing cards? Oh, let's have a look at the swing cards. Are well, we coming to me or are we doing your bit? Uh, have you got anything well, over let's there? Let's go to you because I'll have to bend down and get boards and... So, right, and let's, let's have a little... He's got his shorts on. All sorts. <laughs> so, I actually chose... Again, if you were watching first thing this morning, we did a, a, a demo with the... Um, what did I use this morning? The circles, didn't we? Uh, we put the butterflies yes. on. Yeah. So I'm actually going to go to the heart. Now, these are all the same concept. So it's whatever it, you do for one, you do for all of the shapes. It's just a different shape in the middle. So there's a circle, a hexagon, there's a butterfly, there's the heart one. Obviously, all the same idea. And on the reverse of your packaging, it actually talks you through in very, very simple steps how to achieve a basic card. Now, it asks you to to work on a piece of five and a half by six inches which incorporates that die beautifully it then asks you to measure in two inches from the left hand side and draw yourself a faint pencil line and then the die itself the concept die comes as is and the two vertical edges are just score lines so there's only a cutting edge around the shape part of it so then it asks you to line up the left hand side of the die with the pencil line and you can see that that one fits on there perfectly and I've die cut that into the cardstock all right yeah. and what that does is it cuts the shapes here and then it pops the score lines in so all you need to do then is pop the first one the first one that you come to from the left hand side is going to be what i call a mountain fold so you create that little tent shape and the second one is going to be the valley so that's got like the v shape in it and you're going to create that little sort of z again in there all the way down and then again, you know, whenever you've folded cardstock, get into the habit of just burnishing it and teaching it where you want it to go. And you've very simply got your swing element. And that's as simple as it gets. OK, now I'm actually going to extend mine slightly. We're going to stick with the one cut this time, but I'm going to extend it slightly. So what I've done is I've done exactly the same here but I've just extended this half of it. So I've still come in two inches from each edge and I've just made myself a little tiny mark at top and bottom and we're gonna pass this die through again. So again, I'm just gonna stick that in place. Would recommend just tacking it in place with the low tack tape because something like this, you want it to be straight, you don't want it to move. Now, if you're not altogether good at getting things straight and you've got that grid on your craft mat, you can use that to help. I've actually got my little pencil line. So I'm just going to use the left hand edge of the die and I'm just going to center. It's just a fraction over my card width here. Yeah. But once I'm happy with that in place, I'm just going to pop a little bit of tape, top and bottom, and then we're going to pass that through our chosen die cutting machine. So again, you can see the size of those dies. I keep repeating this, but just for the benefit of people out there, the dies themselves will easily fit through that Gemini Junior or the MIDI. But because my piece of cardstock's that little bit longer, yes. I've actually got my larger plates to pop through my larger Gemini there. And then we're going to put that into the card. It's going to create those score lines for me to fold. And then it's going to cut, just like we have done here, I've just got a larger piece of card on this right-hand side to decorate. So it's exactly the same. So basically, you can make these any length you wish. As long as you're working that two inches in from the side, and that gives you that mechanism to work with. So when we take this one away now and just take the tape away, nice and gently does it, Jan. Mm -hmm. There we go. 
Don't rip it off like a, a band-aid. Just, just roll it like a bogey. Uh, everyone's That's... thinking it. I'll say it. <laughs> roll it like a bogey. There we go. And then you can see how it's actually left the, the two flaps where the heart shape's going to yeah. be. And then if you just have a, qu a close look, we'll get our George to come and have a nosy. And he comes. He's got the score lines. You can just see them faintly. And they are enough to fold those lines in. If you're not so hot with the folding, get your scoreboard out and just reinforce those with your uh, score tool. But they will, if you watch now, I'm literally just going to bend this one up. Just push it, just where that score line's just started to crack the fibres. And then this one, I'm going to go the other way and lift it up. Okay. And once you've got that mountain and valley, this side then will twist over and it will lay flat. Perfect. And again, get that burnishing tool in yeah. and really secure that fold line now at home i would rub away those two little pencil lines but you'll see where we're at so i've got exactly the same as what we did here this uh -huh. was what the instructions said on the back of the packet all i've done is extended this half because i wanted to have some decoration now again on the first show this morning i showed you how to line up the cardstock and the paper and that was really simple i started out with my rectangle because this is two inches inches here I've just come down a quarter of an inch to one and three quarters laid my piece of paper with that border so you can see we normally have the eighth of an inch border around it yeah and then when I turned it over I just used my pencil and used this one as a template to draw around and I've cut away that section okay so this is now going to marry up perfectly with that cut edge you can just see there how we've got a mat layer that fits around there beautifully. If I just show you over that other piece there to get rid of the grid lines. Yeah. And then I've done exactly the same with the other side. So this side was my dimensions. So whatever we ended up with here, I ended up with um, six and a half by six. So I've cut my piece of paper six and a quarter by five and three quarters. Again, I've just lined it up so that I've got that eighth of an inch border all the way around the outside and then turned it over and used the card as a guideline. Now you can actually pop the dies back on. If you pop this in place to where you want it, you can actually put this one back on. You can sort of wriggle it back into place and you can use this to cut your paper if you wish. I just found it easier to draw around it and then take my, um, I usually use my big scissors and I've literally just turned it over and followed that pencil line to cut it out. So then that's given me two matte layers. And again, I've not bothered with the, um, the cardstock under here. I'm just going straight with the paper and we're gonna pop those on both sides. So let's get those glued down. I've done a little bit of work here with the sentiment already, uh, which I've just grabbed from uh, what I'd got in my stash and then just the scraps that were left over from the cardstock that I've used. Uh, so let's stick those down and then I'm going to talk you through those extra elements that come with all the die sets. You get some like sort of like matting and layering yes. dies to create the decoration. So again, a little bit of the wet glue on there, which gives me time to just wriggle this into place now. So again, I'm going to come this side, I'm going to pop it underneath and then literally look at those outside borders and just make sure that this one lines up now with that cut edge. So I can see there, it just needs to move up a wee bit. And that's the beauty of using that wet glue there. You can yeah. just wriggle it into place wherever you want it and let that one dry. And then we're going to do the same with this one. Again, that little bit of glue all the way around here just to seal it. And again, we're going to slide that one onto this side and then look at those edges for the border. And then I'm keeping an eye here that that one's lined up with that edge piece on there. And I'll say, so while that one's drying, I'm just going to leave that to one side for a second to dry. And then I'm just going to talk you through those extra pieces. So in each set, you're going to get an extra set of dies that are like a, a nesting set of dies. So I've got a plain heart and I mean that's going to come in handy for all sorts of things and these have been designed to work with those that we've di already die cut for the mechanism so yeah. you're going to get that matting and layering effect so what I did I wanted to cover 
the whole part of this first before I started matting and layering. So again, all I've done is actually use my piece here and turned it over, drew around the edges, and I've cut out two lilac pieces that were going to stick over the top of the actual heart itself. I wanted that to be coloured in, okay? You don't have to do this. You can go straight for the mats and layers. So this is not this one. You can see that one's a wee bit smaller there. Okay, I'll come to that one in a second. So the first thing I did was literally just use the hearts and I've just drawn round them. This actually matches up perfectly with the one that's the, the cut one in here. And then I've done the same. I wanted the same on the back. So again... Just drawn round them, cut them out with my scissors for this one. It's a nice, easy shape to cut out. And then I'm going to pop this one in the back here. And again, that wet glue just allows me to wriggle that into place, match it up with the edges there so that there's nothing overhanging because I don't want it to interfere with the, the swing element. And then again, let that just dry for a second while we talk about the other pieces. And then with these ones, I've gone back to the pattern paper. So I've actually got this size in the pattern paper, which is now going to start and layer up onto this one. I love these middle ones that have got that lovely sort of die cut element in them. If you can see, it's actually got like a little uh, track around uh, the outside. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So when you actually cut that one out, you get that lovely sort of edging around it, really pretty. So I've gone back to the white one for that one, and that's going to stack on top. And then the last one, is just a little tiny heart and I've actually gone to a little bit of lilac glitter card which just matched this perfectly and we're going to use that to stack on top like so. So what I've done is I've put foam pads on the first one just to give it a bit of height and that one's going to stick straight onto this one. So I want, when it's laid flat, I want to decorate the side that's open. When we close it, you're going to get the reverse side of it. But I actually want to decorate this side so that it's there when we open it. So yeah. again, I'm just going to lay that one down inside. I'm going to go with my white one and keep that one flat. So again, a little bit of glue on the back of that one. And lay this one over the top. You can see how they nest yeah, beautifully. And then this one, again, is going to lay on top. If you want to add more uh, foam or my, more dimension in there, absolutely fine. So that one's going to go in there. And then I've just cut a second one of those, just added a little gem to it. And I'm just going to link it up on the inside with one of these over here just to sort of balance it out a little bit. So these were just scraps that I've got left over and I've just sliced with my guillotine just little tiny slivers off the edge and I like doing this sort of little bit of decoration to link the two lots of colour schemes together and then we're going to pop this one Very nice. in here. Okay. Now you can decorate the back of these and on the next one that I do, I'm just going to show you an idea for the back. It may be that you want to cut some more of these and layer them up on the back, absolutely fine. It may be that you just want to cut a plain one in white. You could put a nice little stamped message on the back there or a handwritten message on the back of that one. But I just love the fact that you've got that design there yeah. and then flip and you've got all the detail on it. Yeah. It may be that you want to put the, all the detail on this side and have a little hidden message when it flips open. Again, there's no right or wrong way of doing it. But can you see how we started with this size and just by extending this piece here, as, as far as you wish, really, you can actually get that extra detail. You can also extend this height and all you would need to do is use your scoreboard to just extend the score lines however long you've taken it. Perfect. Yep. Yeah. So that was our swing heart there, just with that lovely detail. Gorgeous. Okay. Um, lots of you uh, saying how much you love this collection as well. Um, Roseanne's just joined us from Rainy, Massachusetts. Loads of love coming in for De uh, Deanne, Diane. Um, also, uh, and Julie just saying, that would be easier for me. Um, just talking about the last time, I'm not very good at fussy cutting. And Liz Reese Peddler says, hi, Ben, Jan, and everyone. Still 37 degrees in Worcester. I found a way to keep cool. I'm watching from the swimming pool. Is that your swimming? Is that? That's the way to do it, isn't it? In style. Is that? 
Is that your is that your swimming pool, or have you gone to the local um, <laughs> Lido? If, if is that, that is, in the tub? Or, <laughs> <laughs> or the leisure centre? Can you imagine <laughs> down the slide? Woo! <laughs> I'm a bit jealous if that's your pool. I've got to be honest. Oh! All round Lizzie's house after the show. Woo! <laughs> pool party. My daughter. They, they've just got a little blow up pool. They've been sat in there this afternoon with the little one. He's, he's gone through a little bit of a phase where he doesn't like getting wet. Who are you talking about now? My little Toby. I thought you were talking about Johnny and George then. No, my little Toby. He's fine if he goes. <laughs> I don't want to know about that. They're in a pool in the gallery. Yes, they're in a pool in the gallery, so let's not go there, guys. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, he's fine if he's in the bath because he associates that with the water. But when we tried with the pool, it's just. <laughs> it's just Toby we're talking about again, not we're Johnny still and George. talking about Toby, oh, yeah. I'm yeah. wet, I'm wet, nanny. But we're just, we're getting there. We're getting there. It's another skill that he's learning. That's bless it. Him. That is it. Um, and the question is, are Johnny and George really in a paddling pool in the gallery? I'll leave that uh, to your own imagine, uh, imagination. Uh, <laughs> I, I'll put nothing past them, to be honest. I'll put nothing past them. Uh, <laughs> The Sweet Card Collection. Uh, if you want to go for all of these, you've seen the uh, the heart in action and uh, the beautiful circle from earlier on. You've also got uh, the lovely butterfly set in here as well with the additional uh, elements. That's the <laughs> that is the circle. I'm sorry, uh, Johnny's just uh, telling George the story about when Keith from Paper Dynamics got stuck in the bath um, in a hotel. Uh, yeah. He tried to let the water out, to help, but it didn't. It, it, it'll be back. He, I think he's back next week. He'll tell you it all over again. Uh, you've got your in the. Eh? He had tinsel when he was in last week. Did you see those shows? He wrapped me up in his ten meter tinsel. Oh, I saw the picture of that. I wondered yeah. where that had come from. Yeah, he's got a new machine called the Tinselator. Oh wow. Yeah. Um, oh. it, was, it was it was quite amazing to see how the tinsel's made, but he, he did not stop, did he, last year? <laughs> uh, you got your hexagon in there, and you've also got uh, that heart, so that's the one that uh, Jab was just using a few moments ago. The full collection is there for just £33.20 if you're platinum. It's a 20% saving, uh, or uh, 38 24 if you're shopping with us in the uh, US, two for 15 pounds or two for 19 dollars uh, as well on that set. Uh, our Monday mega deal is also proving very popular. Um, I've only got one pack here, but I mean, there's no need to have three really, but you're getting this three times over. It is our ultra smooth um, six by 12 cardstock triple pack. Now, um, as we were saying earlier on, um, not scored. So you've got the ability here if you want just to simply score down the middle if you like making those size of cards. But these were launched with the, it was the triptych um, dies, wasn't it? They the were three originally, windows. but I'm just thinking, Ben, I mean, that one that I've just made was six inches tall. Yeah. So you've got all that cardstock there to work with. They'd be great to work that, with the swing dies. To add loads of different ones And on. literally, you know, you can cut that to whatever length. If yeah. you wanted to stop at the five and a half inches, you could. You would get two of those out of one of those lengths. But if you wanted to extend it like I've just done, you could decide how long you wanted it. So that would be the perfect cardstock, wouldn't it? It was as if they knew yeah um 250 gsm uh perfect as well if you like to use your um your alcohol markers of course as well um, and it, it basically works out that you buy two you get one for free that's the monday mega deal only available uh, up until midnight tonight 15 pounds 98 at that price uh, or 20 dollars 72 lots of people i know have uh, shopped for that today and added it into their baskets quick question before the break uh, because i forget otherwise uh, from laughing gravy i love that I love name, that name. that's gravy. brilliant isn't it what's your what's your uh, what's your real name or do i want to know because i like laughing gravy anyway anyway laughing gravy uh glue question yep do you know uh, why some of the Colal all-purpose glue bottles don't have the spreader on the cap? I don't. I don't know the answer to that. Um, I thought it was the older design that had the glue spreaders on the uh, the edge, but some of them come with just the ordinary red cap, like we've got on the uh, the tacky glue there, without the glue spreader. And I don't know the answer to that. Okay. I really don't. I'm not sure. The idea with this, because a lot of people wasn't sure what this bit was for, but it is literally to be able to spread, spread the glue it. out if yeah. you put too much on, a little bit like you used to use the spatulas when you were at yeah. school. Uh, but I know some of them have just got that little round red cap on. Yeah. 
So yeah, maybe that's something I'll have to ask our Leanne. We'll try and find out. She'd probably you. be the best person to ask. Uh, loads of love for your last project. Heather McFarquhar saying fabulous card, beautiful card. Says Jessica. Suzanne says such a cute swing card. And Gilmore says. OMG, Keith getting stuck in the bath, no way. Everyone in the hotel would have heard that, lol. I love Keith. It was a story that he told on air, and no word of a lie, it went on for about 15 minutes. He's a comic, minutes. honestly. He is a comic. Uh, when he comes back in next week, I'll get him to retell the story for you. Uh, listen, right now, we're going to give you time to check out your basket. It's been very busy for those uh, swing card dies and also the lattice folding. The most busy item today, though, has been our brand new launch. Um, officially launched it at 2 o'clock this afternoon. It's our winter floor or decoupage stamp and die collection if you've missed out on that fear not we are going to come back to it in just a few moments time and have a look at another demo with jam but whilst we get ready for that you need to head to the checkouts and uh, get your baskets checked out so you go do that and we'll come back in just a few moments time welcome to club inspire the crafters companion community where you can feed your crafty obsession. Join our fantastic loyalty club today and receive 20% of your first order. We'll also give you 250 points to help get you started. Other benefits of joining Club Inspire include exclusive special offers and discounts for Club Inspire members only, exclusive sneak peek previews of brand new product launches, and of course, the Club Inspire community group on Facebook, where you can access exclusive content such as downloads, offers and inspiration. And of course, you can chat and share your makes with other members. You'll receive one point for every pound, dollar or euro you spend. And the more points you receive, the more benefits you'll unlock. So what are you waiting for? Sign up, join the club and start rewarding yourself today. Welcome to Crafters TV. With more than 35 hours of live shows each week, it's your home for all things craft. So, join our family of craft experts with live tutorials and demonstrations every day. We shine the spotlight on new and innovative crafting products here on Crafters TV. Just reach down my bra and take it off. <laughs> no, 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 no. Get creative and craft along with our amazing deals. Your next craft project is only a click away. Tune in live seven days a week or watch on Catch Up at crafterscompanion.com, Facebook or our YouTube channel. You can chat to us, craft along and meet new friends in our online crafting community. You entertain us. You give us a community to talk, you know, in the chat. That wouldn't happen without you guys. It's like, um, Crafters Companion is magical. There's magic here. You all that time with each other! <laughs> You're not free to boot camp. Get off! <laughs> There's a show for every type of crafter, from first-time dabblers to full-time makers. So, stop what you're doing and enjoy the fun here on Crafters TV. Quick buy. All your crafty must-haves in a flash. Make light work of intricate and delicate die-cutting designs with the Pokey Tool from Crafters Companion. An absolute essential part of any paper crafter's kit, its precise tip has been designed to release the tiniest pieces to reveal your finished results with absolute precision. And to make sure your finished project is perfect, each Pokey Tool has a rubber tip protector, so there's no risk of damaging your die-cutting design or yourself. The Crafter's Companion Pokey Tool is such an essential craft item, we've included two in each set. Quick buy, get yours now. Oh, Kathy, sorry, so laughing gravy. Kathy Crafter, I used to be Kathy Crafter, but I changed for one day and it stuck. Laughing gravy is the name of the dog in Laurel and Hardy. Oh. Apparently, I, well, I never, I didn't even know there was a dog in Laurel and Hardy. Mm, I love it. Different, isn't it? I, I, I do love all the names. I do. Laughing Gravy is up there with um, some, of the, some of the best ones. Um, just before we quickly go back to the uh, launch, a quick question from uh, Miriam who says, uh, what are the best inks for the Centura Pearl cardstock? And also, how about embossing on Centura Pearl? Pigment or water reactive? Embossing with 
Hang on a minute. So is there two parts to that question? Well, there's the question, and then, in, and then yeah, so what are the best inks for the Centura Pearl? So either of them, either the water active or the pigment inks will work on Centura Pearl. You just need to give it a little bit of drying dry time, time or yeah. just blast it with a heat tool because it's that shiny surface. And, and I don't know whether she means heat embossing. Uh, yes. In which case say. the pigment inks will work better yeah. because they stay wet for longer. They were designed to work with your um, embossing powders. So I tend to use the coloured inks and then add a clear powder over them to do the heat embossing technique Good. and that will work on centura pearl as well yeah there we go thank you for those uh, questions That's okay um right this bad boy has been so popular today our uh, launch which we well we officially launched it at um at, at, at two o'clock but it actually went live just after midday and it has flown out of the door it's the winter floral festive um collection or the winter floral um flowers collection there is so much in here um, when it comes to crafting this is the full collection um right here but we're just going to show you like the individual uh, bundles as well so first thing he says if you want to go individually you can everything still currently available for you individually however uh, lots of people have been going for the main bundle lots of people have been going for uh, the four bundles which make up the main bundle this is the winter floral festive bows collection and as a lot of you will have seen already in each set uh, you get your main die which is, allows you to create uh, your card it allows you to create that big sentiment you know if you want to cut this out and create that holly shaped card you can do if you just want to use certain elements of this maybe to pop onto the front of a you know, a square card, a rectangular card, you can do. There's loads of options with that die itself. And then within each of the bundles, you'll get uh, decoupage uh, dies and stamps, plus a decoupage pad. So the idea really is to create your card base, then with your 48 sheets of um, decoupage uh, papers, use those with the dies to create this beautiful uh, decoupage here. This is your festive bow. And then what you can do is you can um, decorate your uh, holly here with that that beautiful decoupage um, set. You also get the stamps. The stamps there, if you just decide you want to stamp those out and colour them, you can do. You get lots of different sentiments within each of the sets. However, if you do, or when you do eventually run out of your paper pads, you can then use that stamp to create your own decoupage. They bring in all the colours that you've got, creating something a little bit more bespoke to how you want it. So you've got the best of all worlds here. And as we've said, you think about all of the crafting opportunities that you've got there. Yes, of course, you use all of these together. Together, but actually there's tons of different ways to be able to use these individually of each other so uh, in one set there are plenty of crafty possibilities uh, that is £27.48 or £35.96 if you're platinum 20% saving that one's called the festive bows then exactly the same again in this next collection which is your poinsettia delight so this one again just focusing on that christmas flower the poinsettia 48 sheets in your decoupage pad uh, this time you get the get it right ben noel yes dies not null uh, and then all of the dies to be able to create that decoupage it, it is as well literally decoupage by numbers here once again um, it's so so super simple to do stamps to go with them as well and a whole host of um, different sentiments within that collection too a lot of people by the way uh, whether or not they were going for the individual sets or indeed going for the full bundle were adding in extra paper pads which I think most people tend to do generally when we have these sort of collections but certainly wise to do um, when it comes to the decoupage the winter roses has proved really really popular i think this or well, certainly earlier on was the most popular individual set um, you get the snow die and then all of these other dies in here as well so once again such an easy system to work with all of these cut beautifully into these 48 sheets don't forget so plenty to be using uh, and then you can create lovely decoupage elements worth also bearing in mind that if you're looking for added extras we've got the um, collal uh, 3d glue we've got foam pads we've got balls uh, molding tools and tweezers on the show as well so you've got all of the sort of tools and the glues that you need to be working with to get the very best out of these collections and then the last one you've got if you want to oh it's all falling apart the stamps are falling off it's too hot in here and the last one you've got is your candle lit Christmas which I, I, I think this probably is my favorite having been with them all day um, I really like this just got a really sort of cozy Christmas feel to it this one um, it comes with your uh, joy dies 
And as we said, do you know what? If you, if you just want to use that as is, you can do. If you want to decorate it up, you can. And the great thing is, uh, as we found out over the course of the day today, or certainly I found out, you can use all of the different decoupage elements to decorate up the different dice. So if you go for the full set, these are totally interchangeable with all the other sets as well. So you've got full craftability here um, with these collections. That's why the majority of people are going for the full bundle. So you've got 20% off the mini bundles, but then everything I've just shown you comes in the big bundle which has proved so super popular so all of the stamps and dies 33 dies 30 stamps 192 sheets of your decoupage uh, and the platinum price is just over 103 pounds uh, 136 dollars 32 so that is your free shipping if you're shopping with us in the us and what i would say is if you're thinking about buying this um right now th there is a demo coming up with jan but please go back and watch the launch show go back and watch wake up call as well because you will then take away with you not only a, a super craftable set, a, a set which you'll get out each and every Christmas, but you'll have uh, five, six, seven projects to be uh, getting you started. And if you need more, by the way, uh, this project will be coming up on a blog on our website, uh, if not later today, um, sort of the early part of this week. Uh, this is a project our Liam made, uh, and you'll be able to see the blog for that on our website very, very soon indeed. But if you want to see a live project right now, uh, we've got our final demo with Jan. And I can tell um, today with the, project that he, the projects that you've made, you've loved working with this set, haven't Absolutely, you? yeah. This very, very quickly became yeah. on that favourites list, and I think the reason is is because there's so much um, sort of flexibility with it. It's like, yes, there's a design concept in there, mm. and I've just brought that little one that we made first thing this morning. Yeah. So you can see those shaped cards. You can see that design concept in there, working together with the decoupage. That's that lovely winter roses set. Uh, but there are so many other ways to use it, and that to me makes something more valuable. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm willing to pay a certain price for a certain product, but when you can do lots of different things with it, all of a sudden that price becomes more realistic because you're getting more for your money. So this was the concept, and I've actually taken the, the one that we're going to use for this project is the word joy. So just to talk you through this, because I'm not actually going to make a card, I did promise that we'd do the scrapbook page, but just to show you the, uh, the concept die, which is that main outline die, and it's got a custom cutting edge all the way around apart from that little sort of three quarter of an inch panel let me just show you on here at the top there there's actually a gap here in the cutting line and that allows you to line that up with the fold in your piece of cardstock. Okay. And if you imagine that we've got the word snow, it leaves this little hinge on your card. Now, working with the Gemini, I cut straight through two layers of our 300, and, well, it's 310. 300 GSM, the smooth cardstock. 300, I think, uh, yeah? Th yeah. So no. I've gone through both layers with the Gemini. 250. 250. It's the Stentura Pearl that's 310, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, 300, yeah. It's gone through both layers together, so you know that they're going to line up perfectly. And then I showed you how to cut all the decoupage, how to layer it up, and we use this to make our sample this morning. Now, I'm actually going to do slightly different, again, to give you another way of using this. And I've already cut out the external part of the die. And I've just done a single layer. I don't need it as a card blank, because we're going to use it onto our scrapbook page. So I want this as like a matte layer so it doesn't bother me that there wasn't a cutting bit here I've just trimmed it off with my scissors and I've got this white layer as our matte layer and then what I've done is I've taken the wording die and I've cut this out of some red here and you can just see we've got that lovely red element in here and I've popped a little oh. photo behind here it's only a little black and white one off the printer but you could put anything in yeah. here and you can just see how, how they pop together idea. beautifully mm. okay so just think about these as Christmas uh, cards and I know when my children were little we used to have the school photos taken and we used to pop a, a picture in for grandparents Same. each Christmas and, and, and sort of aunties and uncles and yeah. things like that how gorgeous would that be to just give it like that as a, as a Christmas card with the fold you know done on the double fold to get this little hinge and actually pop that in from the grandchildren etc now I will just talk you through for the benefit of anybody that wasn't watching earlier you also get that third piece here which creates the sort of panel inside you can see here if you want in the aperture in the word joy now just to get that in the right place if you imagine this was on my cardstock 
and I'm sort of going to eyeball that we've got it around sort of the centre. But rather than guessing, if you pop your word die inside here and just layer it up with about an eighth of an inch gap all the way round and then place this one in the middle, you know that it's going to be in exactly the right place then for you to line up the rest of your word and not have to worry about whether this is off centre, whether it's too high up, too low down. Stick that one in. Take the word in away again and pass it through your die cutting machine. Yeah. And as I say, I did demonstrate that on the launch day show, so you can see that clearly. So we've got a couple of pieces there from the die cut set. I'm just going to pop those back on my carrier sheet. And then I'm going to move over to the decoupage. And again, we've, we've sort of played with not marrying them up as such. So I've actually got the decoupage from the um, holly. Okay. Yeah. And instead of using the decoupage sheets, we've gone with the stamp set again. So in here, you've got the equivalent die. And again, I'll pop it on the back of a piece of white card for you. So you can see here that we've got that lovely focal die. And this is the one with the, uh, the ribbon on that we mm. used towards the end of the launch day for that um, shaker card yeah. that we did that you voted, very kindly voted card of the show there. So you've got that really nice element. And then you've got... The bow, which will layer up on here to start the decoupage, and then the top section of the bow, which layers on this one. So you've got three layers there that you can layer up and make your own decoupage. If you wanted to add any more layers in there, then just think about cutting back. So I would take that foliage away to start off with. So maybe stamp this one twice and just cut the foliage away to start off with. Then you might want to stamp it again and come back maybe to sort of the stars and the bow. Yeah? Uh -huh. and then take the bow and then the top but you've yep. all of a sudden got five layers of decoupage so it is doable plus you get all the sentiments in there as well so what i started out you can see here we've got this is how they stamp out so i've got and, and the best part about it then is is the dies that come to cut out the decoupage from the decoupage pads have been sized beautifully now to actually go, do you know, I always pull the dies off here and pull the sticky bits off as well, every time without fail. But these have been sized perfectly to then go over the stamped image as well yes. and cut these pieces out too. So you've got your little bow there as well. So again, that one will fit over here and you've also got the top part of the bow. So if you're Perfect. not into fussy cutting, even with the stamps, you've got the ability to actually take those smaller layers and cut them out. Yeah. Okay, so I'm just going to pop that to one side because I've done a lot of the colouring on this rather than uh, spending an age with it. So I've got elements here that are coloured in. And again, I've just taken each one of the pieces added a bit of colour and then use the dye on it and the dye adds that little bit of detail yes. to them. So you can see here how I've got my three pieces at the ready. And then again, whether you want to use your 3D gel, whether you want to use your foam pads, when you pop them together, you've got that beautiful piece of Stunning. decoupage. Now, the beauty of the stamps is you can apply any colour you wish to this now. The decoupage sheets, have a colour scheme's been chosen, and they look absolutely beautiful designed with the cards. But if you like to sort of add your own colour scheme into there, or maybe you're doing it for a specific, uh, you know, occasion that you want to link to a colour, this is the beauty of having the stamp sets where you can actually start and add your own colouring. So that's the bit that we're going to use around um, our joy. Okay. So really we just need to build up the scrapbook page. So I've taken um, a piece of textured cardstock and I've got a piece of paper from our, this is actually the reverse side of one of the vintage snowmen uh, uh, 12 yes. by 12 sheets. And all I've done is I've just cut a quarter of an inch off to make this fit on the full 12 inch. So this one was 12 by 12 straight from the pad. And then I've taken a quarter of an inch off the 12 by 12 paper yeah. just so that I've got a little border. And it just makes it a little bit more sort of substantial mm. there. And then the idea is, is this is going to be my focal point on my design here okay just sort of enclosed around the photograph there but i want to do some work in the background so just nice and straightforward i've taken some pieces of um that plain all-purpose cardstock torn it into strips i want to put one here and one here to start and decorate and build up somewhere for this image to be our 
focal point here. Oh, cute. And then all I've done is it's got like a corrugated look. I've just popped it in the um, scoreboard and just scored every line. Oh, okay. okay. So I don't know whether you can actually pick that. You can just see I that on see the. That. Yep, there you go, look. Yeah. So we've just got score lines again, just to add a little bit of texture to it. And then again, just out of some scraps that were left over of my silver glitter card, I've just cut some little slivers off the edge and just created myself a couple of pieces here that we're going to use to create and draw the eye in. Okay, so these are actually going to go like so across here. I might have that one that way up. Which way up do we want it? No, I want... Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Oh. Hmm. No, I think that the other way. Other yeah. way was better. I like it that way. Yep. Yeah. And then just to add a bit more detail, any edgeable that you've got in your stash, any, absolutely anything. I've just got a couple here that have got snowflakes on because we're going to add some snowflakes as decoration. And I'm going to trap these underneath here just to add that little bit of extra detail. And I've stuck with the white because I want the um, joy word to be that focal point. So that's going to be the basis of my design. And then this one's going to come in into the top here. So let's get these pieces stuck down first. And I am literally, I think I'm just going to go with um, my dotty tape pen at yep. the back of the Die cut. Die cut, yeah. Joe, well, brain's going again now. It's been um, a long day. Whilst you're sticking, a few messages. Uh, Julia Wesolowski says, good afternoon, Jan and Ben. Jan, I love your cards. You're a great teacher. I learn every time you craft. It's Thank a great joy much. every time I watch you make cards. And Ben is a great partner. Thank you. Uh, Terry says, I must say I'm addicted to the decoupage sets. I have them all and I love every one of them. I'm so happy Crafter's Companion has the Christmas floral. The word dies are a bonus. Uh, Gwen says, hello. Aloha, everyone. I hope everyone is well on this very hot day. So grateful for our pool. We need a pool here. Um, <laughs> Natty says, I really want this collection. Get it. Grab it. If you can, go for one of the smaller bundles if it, if it fits your budget. Jeffrey says, Ben, you and Craig stated you might take us to the Crafters Companion Warehouse so we could see the crew. Well, obviously, Craig's not here currently. However, we did nip down there a little while ago and um, potentially with some stuff which is coming up um, in the future, you will have a little bit of a look um, in the warehouse. Uh, Sonal says, what is the Crafters Companion's angel policy? Well, basically, if you're making cards, you know, you're more than welcome to, to sell your cards if you want Absolutely. to do that. Absolutely. A lot of the thing with angel policy goes back to where the designs have come from. Yeah. So if someone else has designed it, then there is usually copyright involved. Because we have our in-house designers mm. and a lot of our designers are employed by Crafters Companion that work for us, then obviously we can give you that, uh, that sort of free range on it. So like Ben says, as long as you are making something with our product, you can literally make as much yeah. as you wish. If there is any restrictions on that we will always make that clear when we launch something so if for any reason it's like a third party item i know many moons ago we used to do all the cds and things like that so yeah. i think if i remember rightly we had things like bee bunny we had i think the snowman which have got a license with them so those we have to be a bit more careful with but anything that we've designed as is these you can make as many as you wish what we ask you not to do is cut out 12 of these, yeah. put them in a packet and, and sell, sell the die cuts. Yeah. Okay. It's a case of actually creating something with it. Same with the stamped images, you know, to stamp all these out and make sort of a set of them and sell them as a set. That we ask you not to do. They're there for creating. So yeah. whatever, whether it be card projects, home decor, whether it's scrapbooking, whatever your paper craft is, as long as you're making something with it, there is no restriction on what you can make. Um, Miriam just saying, I did not think I would like decoupage, but it's actually been very relaxing to do. I received a decoupage pad and a lucky dip without the dies or stamps. Fussy cussing. Oh, I meant fussy cutting. <laughs> Lol, says Miriam. <laughs> Uh, I like that. Uh, Adriana <laughs> says, I love these with the pictures. Hi to Kay. He says, good day, everyone. Another hot day, 108 degrees. Uh, it's hot all over, says Kay. I'm really enjoying Jan's demos. Um, and just a few people asking about envelope sizes, Jan, um, yep. with these cards. Maxine specifically asking about the snow, uh, what envelope would the snow card fit in? I mean, that's Let's just, have it's a just look, over seven we? inches by four inches, that one, the snow. So my, yeah, my finished card would fit in an envelope that was probably, I would probably go for seven and a half 
by four and a half right. and I would actually be making that on my enveloper yep. or my ultimate uh, in something that matched it you know so something like this paper would be great to make an envelope with that would match that particular design uh, I love making my own envelopes I very very rarely use bought envelopes now and that's the great thing about our scoreboards are the, and, and the enveloper isn't it in, yeah. in the, the fact that it might be difficult once you've made a card like this to then find an envelope that you can pop it in but yeah. with our but I just think it finishes it off and it makes that handcrafted a bit more special if yeah. you've actually got a matching envelope to go with it yes. or you know sort of like something that's been designed specifically and then if you've got any little scraps left over from your project you can decorate the envelope as well so yeah. like this bit that I did on here was just literally done out of scraps repeat that on the envelope and you've got that tie into it I like sometimes to decorate the um, the V part on the back you know the closure of the envelope pop yeah. it through an embossing folder or something like that so many different ways and that then becomes part of the gift as well as the actual uh, card itself or the project that you've made yeah um, yeah so yeah th th that is the way to do it um, you know make your own uh, envelopes of course and uh, Jill says surprise hi from Nottingham uh, Crafter's Companion Chesterfield was great and it was good to see Lynn Miles couldn't miss out on Jan. Was that, were you down there or was she talking about now? I did work in the Chesterfield store. No, yeah. I know that, but it sounds like it was... I haven't been recently. Ah, so it's probably it's today then, isn't it? I'd love to go see the guys down there, but I never seem to have time. No. In between this part of my life and looking after little Toby, yeah. I've had very little time in you're between. Not, where is it? You're not that far from... Oh, no, no I'm only about Toby's. 15 minutes oh, away from the Chesterfield store, straight down the motorway. 15. Oh, right, yeah. So. Yeah, yeah. It's not actually in Chesterfield. It is a little bit... We had a lot of... Um, People ask about this. It's in what I call one of the suburbs of Chesterfield. It's actually at Barbara. Yeah. And Barbara, Barbara is junction 30 off the M1. So going down south from here, junction 30 off the M1. I live at junction 31. Oh, right. So literally on the motorway, 15 minutes down the motorway, off the motorway, and it wasn't far away from the actual motorway exit. So, yeah, it was great from the point of view of getting to work and back. And much closer than I come now, which yeah. is like nearly 100 mile each way. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm, I'm, not, I'm like, you know, I'm, I really would love to pop into one of the shows, I'm, uh, shows one of the stores. I've, I've not been to one. Yeah, uh, yeah. yeah. Um, and then when we go down to the TV channel now near uh, Redditch, Redditch yeah. um, Eve, the Evesham store is only about 20 minutes away from there. Oh, is it? So that one's accessible when we're down there as well, yeah. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. But again, I've not even managed that either. So uh, just never seem to have enough time in a day. And I Life know for when by, I'm here, it? it just goes by so fast. Yeah. So all I've done now is literally layer up those elements that we had ready and I'm just going to pop that beautiful sort of decoupage around the bottom. And know? then I've just got a few little embellishments just to finish it off. So I've just stamped out a sentiment here that says, have yourself a merry little Christmas. We're going to pop that on. Do you know what as well, uh, Anne's just said, I'm thinking that the snow die would be very interesting cut from some of Keith's duo card. Really oh, great nice, idea. Wouldn't it? Yes. Well, I think a lot of these would work with those duo cards. That's a really nice idea. Um, I think his, some of his metallics and his uh, holographic card stuff as well would look rather nice. I yes. love, love the holographic card stuff he brings. Uh, Rosanna's saying, I love the decoupage kits. First time I tried, I loved. Uh, very relaxing. I love how the dies cut an embossed texture into the paper, yes. which we were talking about earlier. I like that element of it. It does make such a difference to the, uh, yeah. to the die cuts. Uh, Mary Pack is saying, Jan's going to talk me into this collection with this scrapbooking layout, isn't she? Probably. <laughs> I mean, she's been talking uh, all of you into it all day long. So, I mean, Mary Pack, yeah. I mean, I would have thought so. It just, it's just nice though, isn't it, again, Jan, that I think you've shown so many different ways to use this collection, right from the very simple to a little bit more uh, kind of in-depth and now using it again in a completely different way. Yeah, I mean, that, that's my Picture job, boxes. is to show you, you know, if you're spending your hard-earned cash on a, a product, it's my job to show you as many different ways as possible mm. how you can use it. And that's where I get the enjoyment out of it. I like to look at, yes, this is the concept, this is how this product was designed to use, but what else can a project, uh, product do? Yeah. And I must admit, that's where I get the enjoyment out of crafting, is looking at what else something can do. So again, I've just taken um, one of the snowflake dies from one of the Christmas kits, cut lots of little snowflakes, and just while you finish off, Ben, I'm just gonna add one or two of these in different places, just to add that little bit of detail and link it off and finish 
this one off. I'm not going to use them all. I did cut quite a few. Uh, but again, just to add them in, just to finish that. And I'm going to add some gems on there as well. Okay, so I've just got that last little bit to do. And then that one is finished. Perfect. So I'm just going to stick those down while you're chatting. As I say, it's a very... Um sort of clean scrapbook page if you know what I mean yes. because I think a lot of scrapbook pages I'm just looking at um, Debbie's which won the demo of the um, uh, week a few weeks ago t t you tend to be lots more going on on a scrapbook page but this one's a, a lot more sort of stripped back isn't it yeah again there's no rules with scrapbooking yeah. you know you do what you see fit and it is something I used to do a lot of when my girls were younger yeah I've got some really nice scrapbooks at home from when the girls were little again it's not something I do as much of now and I should really because I've got goodness knows, my daughter is a photo maniac <laughs> she takes everything and honestly I, I get it because it documents yeah. such a lot of things and I've got we've got hundreds of photographs of Toby so if I wasn't working you probably would wouldn't I you? would have loads of time to scrapbook him but while ever I'm working honestly I'm just struggling to literally fit everything do in you, that I have to do in a day do you ever get the old scrapbooks out then yeah do sometimes do yeah, yeah. And I've also got, which is something I want to look into because I think it can be done. Uh, when my girls were little, uh, it was all video cameras. You know, we didn't have mobile phones and things back then. So my stepdad had a lovely video camera and he took hundreds of videos. But they're all on the old, um, were they VHS v tapes? Yeah. Yeah, and I think if I remember rightly, somebody said that you could get those put onto like DVDs and you things. You can because get them We can't them access digital. them at the minute. Yeah. They're all just in a box in the base of my wardrobe. So yeah. I want to look into getting them put onto uh, a disc so that we can actually put them in the DVD player yeah. and have a look at them. My mum did that a few Christmases ago because I had a lot of, um, I used to do a lot of like amateur dramatics and stuff as a yeah. child. And at every show, they would always do a recording of it. And so many of them were on like the VHS tape. So she sent them off to a shop and they put them all onto yeah, DVD so quite to, inexpensively. Uh, um, I think it's one of those things though it's just sort of like it's their childhood so all yeah. the holidays we went on birthday parties Christmases you name it you know my, my dad was there with the video camera and yeah. now they're all locked in that sort of um, space where we can't get to them yeah. it's so funny when you think back of the like nowadays everything's on the phone isn't it and you oh, think back in the day would yeah. so we come along with like a camera like this big wouldn't they we didn't have that facility shoulder. back then yeah yeah. Yeah, he used to have a big carry case for it and have it on his pack. shoulder. Yeah, yeah. carrying all and the And everywhere we went, that came out to uh, to record God, yeah. sort of their journey. I, I remember um, probably a couple of years ago now, we still had a, um, a video player in our lounge um, up until a while back, and I remember showing George like a video, a VHS video cassette, and he, he was just like, wow, is that, what on earth what is, is that? Is that? Yeah. What is that thing? You know? Yeah. Um, yeah, showing them the old phones as well. There was a funny Facebook video doing the rounds um, a while back where someone had um, challenged like a, you know, a kid who was, sort of, I don't know, 11, 10, 11 years old to, to work out the old phones with the dial on. So yeah. How do you dial the number on here? And they were just looking at it going like they had no idea. What happens you had to next? Put the yeah. finger in and dial it round. Oh, dear. Right, I'm going to stop there with that one because, as I say, the embellishment side of it, you can do as much or as little as you want. So if I turn that around for our George, you can just see there using that beautiful die there with the decoupage there, the stamp decoupage, as the focal point, but literally just keeping it nice and simple as a documentation of whatever's going off there, okay? Absolutely fantastic. Um, if you want to go for the full collection, details on your screen, uh, just there, uh, £103 for P Platinum or $136.32 uh, if you're shopping with us in the US. That's your platinum price. That is also free shipping for our US viewers as well. Uh, very beautiful page, right, Jan, yep. says Natty. Uh, I'm loving the scrapbook page, says Miriam. <laughs> uh, okay. Kay says, I would uh, frame that and add the year to the front. Gorgeous wall decor. Beautiful page, says Bethan. Uh, Dieta says, uh, VHS tapes can be transferred. Uh, HSN and QVC have a transfer, a transfer machine that you can buy. Well, there you go. We're covering off all bases today. Um, and Heather says, Ben, which is the nearest store to Hull? I want to visit one. Well, it's got to be Chesterfield. Yeah. Chesterfield's the nearest one. Open now, yeah. so uh, yeah, Northwise, I would say Chesterfield, yeah. and any further down than sort of Nottingham way, it would probably be just as easy to get to Eastham. Yeah, yeah, if yeah. you're coming up from the south, yeah. 
Um, and Evesham have got a beautiful cafe in there. Yeah. They wouldn't let us have one at, at, at Chesterfield. It was always a bit of a, an axe to grind because it's located within a, a shopping mall. There's a garden centre in there that's got a stunning cafe and they didn't want us to have the cafe in competition with us. So we weren't allowed to have the cafe at Chesterfield. But Evesham have got a really nice cafe, yes. It's called the Crafty Cuppa. It's beautiful. Well, there you go. I mean, spoiled for choice then, really. Um, Thank you to Jessica who says, love that scrapbook page. I want to take a quick break. Uh, we're going to give you a chance to check out your baskets. I'll leave you with this. Thank you, uh, Gwen. Uh, not only the resident riddler, but now sending in jokes as well. Says a joke for your, yours and Johnny's bad joke book. Uh, my husband and I have the secret to making a marriage work. Twice a week, we go to a nice restaurant and have a little wine and good food. He goes Tuesdays, I go Fridays. But do We'll be back in a couple of minutes. had to make some changes to our shipping charges and we want to keep you informed. With continued pressure on domestic shipments around mainland US, we've had to temporarily increase the cost of our regular 6 to 10 working day standard shipping service from $9.99 to $12.95 and our free shipping threshold from $100 to $125. We also have some really great news to tell you. We've introduced a brand new shipping service called Express Delivery. This is a fully tracked door-to-door -door service which takes three to seven working days and costs $19.95. This option means you'll get your crafty goodies in your hands sooner, meaning less waiting and more crafting. We're also upgrading delivery services for our gold and platinum Club Inspire members who will now receive priority delivery on all of their orders. And if that wasn't enough, we've upgraded these orders to our new express three to seven day service. Your patience and understanding throughout this very busy time has been amazing. So we'd just like to say a huge thank you and we look forward to chatting to you again very soon. Quick buy, all your crafting must-haves in a flash. Draw, decorate, and customize your world with the colorful Spectrum Noir acrylic paint markers. Each premium paint marker gives opaque coverage on ceramic, glass, wood, and let's not forget paper, cardstock, and canvas. These versatile markers are filled with highly pigmented premium water-based paint, offering beautiful, rich, and smooth coverage. The colors can be blended together and the fast-drying opaque paint is ideal for layering. A three millimeter bullet tip offers smooth strokes and a precision valve mechanism allows rich and consistent flow with no clogging. Quick buy, all your crafting must-haves in a flash. Welcome to Club Inspire, the crafter's companion community where you can feed your crafty obsession. Join our fantastic loyalty club today and receive 20% of your first order. We'll also give you 250 points to help get you started. Other benefits of joining Club Inspire include exclusive special offers and discounts for Club Inspire members only, exclusive sneak peek previews of brand new product launches, and of course, the Club Inspire community group on Facebook, where you can access exclusive content such as downloads, offers and inspiration. And of course, you can chat and share your makes with other members. You'll receive one point for every pound, dollar or euro you spend. And the more points you receive, the more benefits you'll unlock. So what are you waiting for? Sign up, join the club and start rewarding yourself today. Lots of you checking out, lots of you um, loving that last scrapbook page as well, and uh, lots of you getting very excited about our stores now. I had them at Farquhar saying, well, Evesham, here I come. Uh, hi to Pammy, who's just joined us, and I, I think you might have just caught, we went to the break, I think you might have just caught the uh, start of Jan's joke, um, and then obviously you didn't finish, but if you, even if you didn't catch the start of it, it's definitely worth uh, you hearing this, because this is a great joke. It's going to go into the bad dad. It's uh, my one and only, yes. Jan, so, the floor is yours. It's, it's really easy. The guys couldn't get it. Yeah, I had to let them know. So, which letter is missing from the Christmas alphabet? Mm. I don't know which letter Answers is missing on a from the Christmas card. alphabet. Yeah. Are we or on a tablet. Oh, okay. So, we're going to leave it for a minute, yeah? Yes. Okay. I bet the customers know. I can't believe we didn't get it. Which letter is missing from the Christmas alphabet? Between us, uh, me, Johnny and George didn't get that one. Uh, first one to get that one right wins a pat on the back. 
from the south, obviously, that I can't reach. Uh, last demo of the day, um, and then we're going to get the votes going on the demo of the show, demo of the day, the border stamp and die collection. 24 elements in total here. Uh, this one we're doing on the best ever price, I think. Uh, I'm right in saying, or am I wrong? 20% off. 20% uh, off you're getting, two for £14, two for $18. Uh, and what is so lovely about this, not only are you getting um, uh, the beautiful intricacy and detail in these dies, uh, apparently you guys have got the joke already. Uh, Nina's got it. Oh, they're all getting it. We were just slow. Uh, you're also going to get these beautiful uh, sentiments to go with each one, which work with the curvature of the die, which I absolutely love. Um, six different designs that you're going to get in this collection. So the gorgeous, cute florals. You've also got the uh, dancing butterflies. The sentiment that you've got there is, I hope you have a wonderful birthday. If you fancy interchanging some of these as well, of course, you can do that. Hearts, again, this is called Love to You. Uh, and again, you do get uh, separate little dies with all of these that you can use to embellish or use elsewhere should you wish sending all my love your way uh, here's the stars we saw this uh, that was your first demo of the day I think earlier on uh, but perfect again uh, for celebrations and birthdays and those more masculine cards we always say stars are a great way to go for the blokes you're a superstar is your sentiment there this one is your classic swaddles um, thinking of you Swaddles. Oh, by the way, there is um, Craig's recent video that he's done has gone up onto the main uh, Crafters TV Facebook page. If you, oh, well, if you want to see how he's getting on, he is uh, on the men, but a lovely message from him uh, worth having a look at after the show. Uh, and then you've got the In the Foliage. And I think this one is my favourite because I said to you earlier on, um, normally foliage sort of plays second fiddle to flowers and things like that, but this time, it, that, that's a really, really lovely die to have as a focal point. I can imagine done along the lines of something like our um, autumn, autumn collections blessings. would look nice wouldn't mm. it uh, possibly for things like thanksgiving yeah or harvest festivals that kind of thing it would go with wouldn't it yeah I, yeah I really like it and the fact that you get the little additional dies a little extra sprig and the yep. little leaf there too uh, your sentiment on that one is just a little note to say so uh, plenty of different designs for all sorts of different occasions and a great price again today so 20 percent comes off the normal price tag platinum price is there uh, and of course um you know, you can pick this up today for £30, just over if you're shopping in the UK, $38.20 uh, in the US. Uh, let's have a look at this. Which one are you going to be working with? We're going to do the cute florals. Okay. Yep, we're going to do that last one. So I've not, I've, 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 we will have got four fitted in there. So, uh, yeah, I always have extras, but uh, bringing the... Um, the shape, the, the, the winter florals back. Um, obviously, we've had to let one of these go. So we've done a lattice one. We've done a swing one. I just wanted to bring the border dies in now uh, just to give you an idea with these. So I said earlier when we were looking at these first thing this morning that I would show you how to stamp on the curved part of the die because each one of these comes with its own sort of little stamp that fits in that curvature of the die. So we're gonna do that with this one. So in our set then, you're gonna get your border die, which is the equivalent of an edgeable again. So I've got cutting edge around this side, but this side is just plain, all right? So that's the side that we're gonna work with. And then you also get a couple of little embellishment dies, which I've cut out um, a couple of those to work with. So I want to cut, what we're gonna do is we're gonna make, I've got the back of my card, I've got a piece of acetate, and what we're actually gonna do is create a top section with the floral die on and then I've already cut um, the bottom half of this when I can find what I've done with it here to bring on the bottom part of the acetate and actually bring them together okay so that's where we're heading with it so what I've got is a piece of card that, that actually fits where I want it to go just pop myself a little pencil lining so that I can line up where I want this die to sit and I'm going to cut this down to size once I've done the die cutting and I can see where it is. Are we um, giving the answer to your uh, joke, by the way? Because I think a lot of people have got it. I uh, think a lot of people will Susie know this. On the I'm socials. amazed that you didn't know this. Ben. No, I know. I'm I thought you'd myself. have been all over it, yep. Um, Susie on the social says that she got it first as well. Uh, and I know that Lynette's definitely got it right. Um, do you want to, you, you, you do it, Jen, because it was your... So, yeah, thing. so which letter's missing from the Christmas alphabet? Of course, there's no L. <laughs> Just, <laughs> no, that's it, that's the extent of my jokes, I'm afraid. And, and the, the amount of times we've said no L today, yeah. we didn't get it. Adriana's got it, Heather's got it, Crystal's no, got it. Out there scratching their heads. As I said, I thought you'd know it straight away, that one. It's just cheesy, isn't it? When Jan was saying that, I was going through the alphabet going, hey, hey, He's so rocking his face, 
<laughs> Brit, I like it though. It's bad enough to go in the uh, the bad joke book. Yeah, so, yeah can we have that one in the, uh, in the in the in the in the records yeah, then? It's yeah. Gone. So. Again, what we've got here then is just that die cut into the edge of my piece of cardstock. And then if I just snip away, because I'm going to actually make this a bit shorter anyway to fit on the card. But you can see when we take that away, you've got that lovely little cut edge on there. So that's going to be the top section here. I've got a little bit folded back that we're going to trap over the top of the card and then once I know how long I need this to be I'm going to cut this edge off here so let's have a think then we can stick this one onto the bottom and I've just edged it with a little tiny bit I hold it back over there little bit of the pink tulip ink which is going to bring in sort of the color tones that we're working with so on the back of that one I'm going to keep the acetate where I can see it on the back of the die cuts again i'm just going to bring that dotty tape pen in yep perfect for the job and then on the straight pieces we'll actually put a strip of the double-sided tape as well so that's the bottom section and i'm going to line that up just make sure i've got my acetate the right way yeah and i'm going to line that up with the bottom edge of the acetate. So I've cut the acetate the same size as the piece of card I'm working on. It's the worst thing ever to see on camera. So again, just on that bottom edge there, like so, and get that one stuck down. So this is gonna be the bottom half, okay? And then this one is gonna cling to the top and wrap over the top of the card. So I just want to make sure that we've got the right width, and then I'm gonna trim this bit off here. Uh -huh. Don't need that piece at the edge there. Okay. And then I'm going to pop this into my stamping platform. So again, if it's something like this that's loose, I usually just put the tiniest little smidge of those glue dots on the back of that uh, tape runner because they will rub off when we've finished. And then you've got that lovely curved stamp there. Yes. So let me just make sure I've got it the right way up. And then this fits along the line of the actual die itself. So I want to pop that in place, make sure it doesn't move. Pick up my stamp with the platform there. And then I need a little bit of stamping ink. So we'll go... I've got a quick dry black one there, which will work perfectly. So just really nice, mm. light touch on that one. Okay. And then pop that one down. And you can build up that ink on there then to see how far it goes. You can see we've got it on there. Okay. And again, when you take this away, the dots will just rub off the back there so that you've not got to worry about that sticking to where you don't want it gotcha so again i'm just going to swap it out for the one that i've already done because i've added that little bit of pink ink on it as well there so it's exactly the same got the sentiment on there and then i've just added that pink tulip ink to so that it echoes the bottom one there and what i'm actually going to do is stick this to the top of the acetate and then fold this part over the back of the card to secure it so again we've got the dots just on those die cut pieces whoops and then i'm going to use this one to stick to the actual acetate okay okay so again i want to line this up on the top of here and i do apologize as i say the acetate is not easy for you guys to see off camera so once that's lined up press all that bit down and then i'm just going to run a piece of that double-sided adhesive down that back glue tab and then pop that over line everything up yeah. and that one's going to go over the top there yeah. with a quick burnish and we've actually got our card blank at the ready so we just need a little bit of decoration on there then so i've cut a couple of panels one is going to go across the top there and one across the bottom so again just with that double-sided tape pen. If you prefer your wet glue, that will work as well on here. And I'm just going to pop that one across the bottom. And this one, again, I've put the ribbon on because I'm the world's worst at forgetting 
to put this on when I'm on air. I've done it uh, so many yeah. times. Like, oh, I've not stuck my ribbon on. And late. then tried to get it apart and made a mess of it. So we'll, we, I've done it beforehand. Just pick that nice that ribbon to match the background there. That's lovely. And then with the... Um, extra little pieces here I said you got the extra dies all I've done is cut just out of the scraps that were left over oh, a couple of the uh, extra little flowers here Oops. just out of those scraps I've got some gems as well and again where you've got um, just put something on that so it doesn't blow away where you've got these ones you can actually line these up and just over on there so again, just find out which way they're going to go. It's not really that big a job if it, if it doesn't match up. So I'm just going to pop a little tiny bit of wet glue on here. And again, I'm just going to pop it onto the flower itself. And then lay that one just to add that little bit of extra oh, decoration. Yeah. Lovely. And then I've got a couple of gems just to put in the centre of there. And then that one's done. So, again, just one idea yes. of how you can use these. There are lots of different ways to use them again. And then, again, I'm just going to put a little bit of glue in the centre there of those two. And in there, I have got a couple of gems that we're going to use. Oops. Where's it gone? There it's gone. Um, Mar Maris has said, if you wanted, would the sentiment fit under the design side too? I'm not sure. Would it fit where, sorry? Under the design side. So was like, you mean It's like, the opposite yeah. way, the arc on that one. Yeah. So if you think about it, your stamp would be upside down, down. that way. Yeah. So yeah, it follows this side of the curve But if you here. put it underneath inside the card, would it work that way? Uh, yes. Yeah. So this side, you could actually yeah. get away with it in here, look. It would yeah. fit in there. Yeah? Yeah. So yeah, lots of different ways. So again, just that last one to go on the middle there. Oops. Doesn't want to stick. There we go. So if I just clear all my... I've made a right old mess again, haven't I? You've been having fun. That's the main thing. We will do the votes very shortly. I've just looked at the time. We'll do some two quick ones in just a second. And you can just see those lovely edges there. They are really, really pretty with the stamp and mm. borders. Fantastic. Uh, a lovely collection, lovely final demo. Um, if you want to go for that full set, £30.39 or $38.20. I am uh, I'm still reeling from Jan's joke, if I'm being honest with you. And then, in fact, uh, Susie on the socials has been sending me through jokes. You think my jokes are bad? I'm just going to share a couple of these with you whilst we get the cards lined up. Uh, a couple of Susie's jokes. This makes me look like, you know, not, not so bad. Uh, how, how do you cut the C in half? How do you cut the sea, as in like the ocean? Yes. In half? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't know. How do you cut the sea in half? With a seesaw. <laughs> Grown. And what kind of clothes do frogs wear? Is what I mean? What kind of clothes do frogs wear? Yeah. Um, and I thought my answer that I gave her was actually better than the real answer, but... Uh, I don't know. Jumpsuits. <laughs> I said open-toed sandals. <laughs> I like both of those. Yeah. But anyway. Definitely. This is the uh, the quality that we're ending the night with. Uh, let's get those cars lined up. Uh, yep. Natty says, very pretty. Four holidays designs, pretty. Cathy C, beautiful card, Jan. I love the colours. And Miriam says, what a beautiful card, Jan. Uh, which is your favourite of the show, though? It's time for you to vote. You're going to have about two minutes on this. So uh, recap us, please, Jan. Right, so top of the show then, we started with those lovely lattice dies. We brought you those at the best ever price we've done them. And I used the circle one just to create that little fold back and put the detail on there. So that's number one. Number two, we went to the swing cards and we used that lovely little heart there to layer up these and add some detail to the swing card. So that was number two. Number three was the scrapbook page with those beautiful winter floral dies. Okay absolutely gorgeous just adding a little photo in there and number four we've just finished that border die set with the cute florals there and just trapping the acetate in between there just to give a little bit of uh, definition so that was number four uh one two three or four you've got about two minutes to get voting on that one uh kate is saying i love all the finishing touches that jan adds it makes so much difference uh, the monday mega deal is proving very popular on this show uh, 75 sheets of a six by 12 ultra smooth white cardstock um, so again 
as we talked about earlier on, perfect if you'd like to use your alcohol markers. Uh, great as well if you um, got any of those sort of triptych dies and you might like to make the three folds. It's not pre-scored, so you've got the ability if you just wanted to score it straight down the middle. Um, but the point is, the deal on this one um, ends. Well, it's a 24-hour deal that you've got on the Monday Mega Deal or while stocks last, and it basically works out that you're getting 75 sheets, uh, but you're only paying for 50. You get uh, 25 for free. It's a nine pounds 99 saving or 12 dollars 95. Uh, platinum price £15.98 or $20.72. Those have been proving really popular, as has the launch. Really, really popular is this. I've got to say it, and I know Johnny was taking the mickey earlier on, so you always say that. Th this uh, is one of my favourite launches, uh, potentially of the year. I'm putting it out there. I really... Oh, that's no, a, a bomb. Yeah, I, I, I just... For, for me, I, I just think... When you've seen all the different ways that you can use all the different elements, the fact that they you know, are going to work beautifully together, you've got lots of different elements that you can take from this collection and use elsewhere, I think it's the most craftable set. I also, we've not really chatted about this too much either, the price to that. I think that's a really great price. Uh, I know it's obviously you know, um, sort of tight times for a lot of people, but if you can stretch that today, I think you're getting really great value for money, uh, platinum price particularly. And of course, if you're shopping in the US and you're platinum, uh, that is um, free shipping, of course, for you as well. Um, do you want to have a look at a few finished samples and then we'll do the boards um, on this one? Because I think it's nice to see, again, just a few different styles that you can make with this. And the first one is sort of the simplest of them all, really, isn't it, you've got there? It is, yes. Yeah. So the concept was designed sort of as that little shaped card and these are really really pretty to make so the holly there with that lovely sort of decoupage cut with it uh, just to create that shape card it's got a little hinge on top so that it will stand as a card and you know there's plenty of room to write a little message in there but I just saw as soon as I saw these this was the one that we did earlier with the snow as soon as I saw those I thought they'd make great little place settings maybe across the aperture to have a name just stretched across the aperture would look great wouldn't it but then you know why not start and bring them into your card making so I love the idea of this one where it's actually been chopped in half and the word split in half so again a different way of using it that gorgeous poinsettia decoupage around there and again we've got joy this is the one that I used on the um, scrapbook page yeah so again mixing and matching with any of the paper pads and things like that you've got at home this one was a similar idea to the um, the, the scrapbook page but done on a card front you know you can still include your um, pictures behind there and that's that lovely decoupage set that you liked with the candle in there oh Oh, yes, kind of really, really pretty. And then again, we've got that Noel, just as the shape card. I've got a great again. joke about that. You know, because no, don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> this is one of the ones that I made this morning, just showing you're on the front of a, a card there. Yeah. So that's Noel again. And then I just wanted to show you this one again, you know, just picked one out that's got none of that sort of shape wording on it. Yeah. So if you're wanting to make designs, I love this tower card. Just wanting to make a design using that decoupage and let that be the focus on yeah. it. Absolutely, you can. It doesn't have to work with all the other pieces that are in the kit. Um, I can show yeah. you the boards in just a second. Before I do that, though, we need to announce the demo of the show and then get the demo of the day result going. Demo of the show uh, in second place, number four. Right. But the winner... It's going to be the scrapbook, isn't three. it? Yeah, number three. I thought it would be. It's a little bit different, isn't it? Yeah, thank so you, guys. Vote then on the demo of the day. So we had number one, which was the uh, beautiful uh, Noel Z card, uh, Z fold card that uh, Jad made on Wake Up Call this morning. So that's one. Number two, I really like this one with the craft card um, elements and the Twas the Night Before Christmas. And then you've got the little shaker within the O for the holly uh, with all of that decoupage on. That's two. And then number three is the one that you have just voted for. So one, two or three, you've got about two and a half minutes on that. Whilst you're voting, very quickly just take you through all of the elements that you've got in the collection. Um, you can break this down into smaller bundles should you wish, but uh, let's show you um, the full collection uh, if you want the names this one's called festive bows if you want to go for this individually so you've got that beautiful um holly die holiday <laughs> 
I can't stop thinking about that now. Holiday, uh, and then with each of the sets, you get uh, f uh, 42 sheets, 48 sheets. Wow, it's all going wrong now. Of your decoupage. So these work beautifully with these. These also work beautifully with the stamps that you're going to get. Uh, these also work beautifully with the die as well. They all work well independently, but um, to, to decorate these up so quickly and easily, hopefully you've seen today just how versatile of a set that is. You'll get the Noel included in this set as well. So that's the Poinsettia Delight. So again, that die set plus your uh, decoupage pad plus all of the stamps with the sentiments and then those dies to be able to work with the decoupage pad. You're also going to get in the set your Winter Roses, which is the snow. Uh, once again, that beautiful uh, die set right there. On top of that, all the dies to work with your decoupage pad. And then you've got the uh, stamps included in that set too. And then lastly, you have got the Candle Lit Christmas. Once again, uh, this full set brings you the Joy dies and then all of the other elements here. Again, a 48 page paper pad, all of those dies to work with the pad and the stamps as well. Everything I've just shown you there comes as uh, smaller bundles or if you just want to mix and match and just um, grab a few bits and pieces, you can do uh, everything still available for you individually. But the main bundle here is the best value for money and that's what most people have gone for today and then added more of those decoupage pads into their um, collections as well. Uh, we'll get the result in just a second, but what a day it's been. Um, if you have just joined us, uh, don't forget, uh, we've got plenty um, uh, that you can watch back from Facebook and YouTube. Of course, all the shows today, loads of inspiration from this show. And we'll be back tomorrow as well. Uh, it was set to be uh, Michelle, but with everything that's going on here, when it gets hot here in the UK, the trains don't run. Um, so basically, a lot of the trains across the UK have just stopped running because it's got too hot. So Michelle can't make it up tomorrow, sadly. Um, but uh, the lovely Debbie Robinson will be winging her way up here from Hobby Maker tomorrow to be with us. Uh, we've got a uh, wake up call and we've got a brand new launch as well. We've got those gorgeous um, doily dies tomorrow uh, at two o'clock. Um, and then tomorrow, yes, oh, how, how could I forget? Tomorrow, we've got a three hour extravaganza in the evening. It's an hour and a half of launch party and then a wrap up of the US warehouse clearance show. Uh, for the final hour and a half so it's a three hour extravaganza tomorrow night um, do we know when you're next back with us Jan? I'm back on Saturday oh, okay. I'm back on Saturday yes I've got a craft along on Saturday with that lovely sunflower collection uh, so we've got a little bit of 3D construction again with that and then I've got a fabulous craft house show at 6pm involving some of Sarah's Christmas collections past and present so I'll leave it at that because I'm not I'm going home to do the prep for that tomorrow um, um, and I've not actually got that done yet. But yes, some of the past collections, one of the current collections were all about the Christmas collections. Uh, we Looking shall look forward to it. Forward to that. Thank you for a fantastic day. Massive thank you to all of our team as well. Superstar, Susie, uh, Rachel. Who else has been on the social show? It was Susie earlier as well, wasn't it? Uh, thank you to Jake. Thank you to Johnny. Thank you to George. What is one demo of the day? What do you reckon? It's got to be that one, surely. It was very, very close. Winning by one vote. Ooh. Number two. Really? Fantastic. Yeah. There you go. Yeah, the shaker yeah. card. Good old shaker card. Everybody loves the shaker. Uh, well, yeah. Jen, that's going to go up onto our Crafty Walk of Fame, and you might vote for that on Sunday during Second Chance Sunday when we do the vote for the demo of the week. Thank you, Jan. She'll see you Saturday. I'll be back here with you tomorrow uh, with Johnny and George as well. You boys are here as well, aren't you? Yeah, and Jake. Same team tomorrow. Uh, and, of course, uh, the lovely Debbie Robinson uh, is going to be here too, so she'll thoroughly look forward to that. Uh, don't forget to get your baskets checked out. Pick up this deal if you can. Certainly, certain elements of it uh, you're going to absolutely love it and don't forget that amazing monday magazine as well which uh, you need to get uh, within the next 24 hours stay cool everybody oh it's going to get hotter tomorrow isn't it uh goodness knows i'll probably have shorts on again tomorrow uh, get ready for that i'll see you tomorrow uh, for 11 o'clock bye for now